Morning, we're here in Haynes to do a big install, 82 panels, and they're larger panels than normal, so they're 195 meters high. Uh, let's get going. Started setting out um, for the first rail system, 1.2 meters apart. Tiles here are clay pan tiles, so they're quite nice for us to work on. So first of all, we've got the first rail going in here, and then after that, I'll be setting the second rail and the third. We also have another section here and another section at the rear. So 82 panels today, so it's going to be a big day. It's the end of you and me. Cool, right, today uh, is Friday. This is the third day now. The guys have been here over at Wooden Hill Coffee, the new building. We're putting 82 panels on the roof of the uh, of the barn that they've taken over. So it's quite, uh, quite an undertaking to do in three days. Um, we are on the last few sections of panels now. Everything's gone quite swimmingly well. This is all connected back to a three phase 40 kilowatt inverter uh, that's got four trackers. So each of these different faces is on another tracker. Uh, this system is looking to generate about 33 to 34 kilowatt thousand kilowatt hours a year so a significant dent uh, for wooden hill coffee and hopefully they can use the sun to roast their coffee beans which is the main aim in the summer <laughs> Absolutely. So this is one of the panels that might have some shading from this tree involved here. So we've got eight panels on either end that have been highlighted that they're going to want optimization. This is a Tigo optimizer. There's other brands available, but these work with every brand of solar panel. So what, what these do essentially is if there's shading or really low light conditions, they allow the panel to still produce or disconnect itself from the system without bringing the rest of the string down because shading is is a big problem when it comes to solar panels so very important to make sure that any areas that are showing a shading on the design get covered by an optimizer there ain't no hiding on the camera Different to do screw made. Here we've got our brand new Solis uh, inverter. This is a, like I said, a 40 kilowatt unit, um, made it up back to the existing fuse box supply. So the supply to this whole place is 100 amp, uh, three phase, coming into here. And uh, then we've got going off to the roaster, another 63 amp circuit. Well, our solar has to go on a 63 amp circuit because this can potentially generate something like 59 amps at peak during summer. So if you think their supply is only 100 amps, we've now added another 60% on top of that peak in summer to really give them some scope, some energy. Um, what you can see laid out here, apart from the inverter, are the five DC isolators that go to the five strings across the roof. So the solar panels obviously all can't go on one circuit because that'd be way too high a voltage for what the inverter is rated for. So you break it down. I think the most we've got on a circuit here is 22. 
give or take. Um, so essentially we, we run the cables into here, then out through up to the uh, connections on the bottom of the inverter. Over here is the AC isolator, so we have a supply from the fuse board into here, through into the inverter. So essentially, that's all you've got, and this is the bit that does all the magic and turns solar power into energy for you to use. Pretty dead, mate. Yeah, but it's, it's a good achievement, though. So, <laughs> welcome to solar. Oh, that, how's that? Wonderful. So we're at the end of the day, the end of this solar install. Um, you might be able to see just out that window, it started absolutely tipping it down. I'm not sure if that can be um, caught on the video. Just yeah. yeah. Sorry about that. But basically, uh, we just about managed to dodge it. We've got all of the solar panels mounted, all of the voltage tested back to the isolators, and the system up and generating. Obviously, it's now a miserable day, so it's uh, not the ideal day to see what the system can be producing and what it's going to be doing. But I'm coming back tomorrow to have a tidy up, um, to finish commissioning out the system, uh, make sure I've got all the necessary test results I've got to do. Need to move the AC isolator ever so slightly just to allow for a cupboard to be built around this. Um, but otherwise, job well done. Very happy with the installation and how the roof came out. So just a couple of little finishing touches to do tomorrow and we're all done.